So I'm back in the kitchen today cooking a very special recipe for you. It is called chocolate mousse a la Salston and it's written up on one of mum's cards. I've actually got her recipe box here. Um, so mum used to ask people for recipes and then she would tinker with them. We used to stay in a hotel called Salston Park every other Christmas when I was tiny. So, you know, we're talking 35 years ago. Um, but it was lovely to find it on here. She has slightly adapted it and I've adapted it too. So it is not like the original Selston Park chocolate pudding, but I hope that you thoroughly enjoy it. It will be perfect for Valentine's Day or for a dinner party. So first of all, I'm going to weigh out 160 grams of dark chocolate. So this is 72% cocoa solids um, in here. I'm gonna pop it in a bowl and we're going to melt it. You want it broken up into little pieces. So once I've measured it out, I shall, a little bit too much. Not quite enough. There, 160. So I'm gonna break it into little squares and that will be quicker to melt. And then I'm gonna, oh, it's flying out the bowl. Um, I'm then going to use a bain-marie. So that is, um, a little bit of water in a saucepan. You don't want the water to touch the bottom of the bowl um, because it will burn the chocolate. So that is all broken up. I've got a little bit of water in here and I'm going to put it on the low heat and then I'm gonna pop my bowl of chocolate on top and leave that to melt. It'll probably take about five to 10 minutes. Now for the biscuit base for the chocolate mousse. I've got my Magimix with a big blade on my scales. So I'm gonna put 50 grams of unsalted butter into there. That's perfect. And 100 grams of aromatic biscuits. and 100 grams of digestive. I break these in half, it makes them easier um, to turn into breadcrumbs um, as they go in. And then onto my magic mix, and I want these to turn into fine breadcrumbs. Push the blade down. holds it together which is perfect for when I pop it into here oh I should have showed you this is a loose bottom tin a fluted tin um, which means I can when I go to serve it I can take it out um, makes it look a lot prettier anyway I've now got my breadcrumbs into my tin and I'm just going to pop push down and into the sides all the way around the edge and then pop it in the fridge to chill while I make the mousse part. So that's all nicely pushed down. So it will go in the fridge until we're ready for that. The chocolate is melting here. So I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. That is beautifully melted. So I'm gonna take that off the heat now and leave it here to cool down. Um, and I've got a saucepan here and I'm going to pop some caster sugar into here. So we'll just weigh it, some caster sugar. And we're gonna put 60 grams of caster into this saucepan. There we are. And then I'm going to pop three tablespoons of hot water from here in with the caster sugar and stir it until it's dissolved. and just give it a good stir and then I'm going to bring it to the boil and I want it to reduce down I want to bring it to about 120 degrees Celsius um, and so it's just reduced nicely 
and then I'll show you what we do. So I'm going to pop that on the boil here, close that one down. And while that's heating up, I'm going to pop three egg yolks. I've got three eggs here. And I'm going to pop the yolks into my Kenwood bowl. So I'm going to crack the eggs first into this little pudding bowl. And then I'm going to put the whites in there. And I'm going to pop the yolks into there. So I've got my egg yolks in here and that has been boiling away. It's now reduced down and it's perfect uh, to add straight into the egg yolks here. So I'm just gonna tip that sugar and water mixture in there. Now you can use an electric whisk, you can use a hand whisk, but I absolutely love my Kenwood, so I'm using this. Um, so I'm gonna close the lid and I've got eggs in there and I'm just going to mix them together slowly. Once they're then mixed I'm going to pour in my cooled chocolate. It's still warm but it's not boiling hot. in the chocolate. There we are. Let's scrape off any extra chocolate into there. Close the lid down and give it another mix. Again, not on a really high heat um, speed. Now in here I've got half a pint of double cream and I'm slowly, while it's mis whisking, going to pour this in. And a bit more cream. You don't want to put it all in at one go. chocolate and egg and sugar and water mixture is just really off the bottom nicely you can see look at that it's gorgeous already and I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a faster whisk and then it will be done so that is now done I'm just going to take that off and I'll show you it's gorgeous and so delicious and I'm just going to pour that out so you can see the sort of consistency that we're looking for. Pour that into my biscuit base that I've just taken out of the fridge. There like that and then I'm just going to use my spatula just to spread it evenly around making sure it's into the sides nicely. So there, we are done. Chocolate mousse a la Selston with a few alterations from mum and from me. I hope you've enjoyed watching today and please do like and subscribe.